How can you even think about putting a cost on environmental degradation? How much is a tree worth? Or the ozone layer? If even with environmental costing, we're still polluting, then are we living sustainably? How much legislation do we need? Should it be driven by penalty or incentive? In addition to economic tools, what else do we need to do? A lot of questions, and some of them may be impossible to answer. In Europe, the United States, Australia, all over the world, economists are working on ways to make sure the environment isn't treated as if it's free or infinite. For instance, a recent study found that in Germany, people were willing to pay $48 billion a year for clean air. This study doesn't claim to be definitive, but it is an attempt to define the environment in economic terms. But if environmental costing could unleash the market as a tool for helping us clean up our act, governments would be in a better position to see whether we're moving towards a sustainable economy by putting natural capital on the balance sheet. And now, it's time for the international presentation of... The band is racing! <laughs> OK, boys and girls, you know the rules. We're going to stop the country going bankrupt by feeding the national debt. And these resources are what we feed it. Forests, clean water, soil and animal species. OK, on your marks, get set, because the debt is racing! At the moment, we're throwing away much of our natural capital in our bid for material wealth. And this loss doesn't show up in our national accounts. Please sell it! 